Good morning, guys. Yeah, actually, it's not the morning, but it is. But, it, you know, I got to stop saying, you know, it's hard when you just press play and you, you let her rip, right? Out comes the knowledge. Like, what I've noticed is the big trend for hi-fi is the gear videos. Now... I just find it just really odd and actually sad that those are the videos that bring all the attention. But the authentic and true knowledge and information, the videos that people put out, and there are a few of them that don't focus on the gear, they're focusing on getting the true meat and potatoes out to the hi-fi enthusiasts, right? Not, not, it's not about, oh, you should buy this and you should buy that. Like I've always, I learned a long, long time ago that you got to just let things settle. These new products come out, especially the digital products. There's going to be bugs. There's going to be bugs. You get what you pay for. How many times do you have to learn that? You get what you pay for. There's so many people that just say, oh, that's too expensive. And you know what? Most of the people that say that stuff are people that don't have the money to buy it, right? You can't criticize people that are, they're in a different depth of the pool. They're able to play in a different depth of the pool because they have a higher income in life. Don't poop on those people. Don't do it, you know? So I'm, you know, I don't criticize people that have more expensive systems than me because at the end of the day, that doesn't matter. It's the knowledge that's going to build a, a beautiful system, not the money. And I know that. So it's just a shame that there's guys that come on, you know, like Mikey OCD. It just shows experience, right? And I do the same thing. Like, people need to know this information. They don't need to know about this component that's just come out. That it's the best, and I just can't believe what was said about certain streamers and stuff like that, man. There's so much. Like, these high-end companies, they have software teams that are part of their, their own business, right? That they work in conjunction together to bring out superb products. Because the applications and the software take a lot of expertise, right? Digital, it, it's a complex uh, journey, you know? So why is it that it's so sad that that's why I, I, I will never go in the, that route because I don't feel genuine. I don't feel I am providing a proper service to people that are maybe new at this hobby or even people that have been down a long road. I just want to... I want to be genuine and try to give the knowledge that I've learned over 25, 30 years. I mean, I was an audiophile as a, ch a child, right? I was interested in the equipment and listening to music more so back then than, than it took me down a dark path, right? Where I'm doing that, which is just seen by, you know, that's not the message, guys, that you want to be listening to. You want to listen to people that have walked before you, that have already learned the ins and outs, the little finer details, right? How important software is on the digital front end. You know, how one, one media style of listening is not better than another. It's just not. They, at a, at a high, higher level, they're all really, really good. But there's people that do have a point, you know, vinyl. Okay, well, I do have a really high-end vinyl setup. Is it better than the digital? No, but it's it's beautiful to listen to. But I don't have, I'm not the millennial that's buying records, right? Because, again, I would never send someone in that direction. Because for one thing, all of my pressings, I'll say 99% of them are actually analog. They're from the era. They're from the year when analog records were being made. Are they truly analog, though, compared to to reel-to-reel? Uh, -reel? Probably not. I don't know enough about that, those master tape reel-to-reels. It's just not a machine I'm willing to... I'm not willing to go down that rabbit hole of trying to source all the content and, and the tapes and stuff. But it must sound unbelievable, 
right? I'll never criticize it just because I don't have it, you know. But like I say, the I'm not out here to try to say I know more than anybody else and these reviewers are just sending the wrong message. I, I believe that though, like showing that it's a good idea to just keep buying the next latest and greatest is not my mission here. My mission is to educate all things hi-fi, right down to the finest details that I can share, right? From right down to the emotional pain it can cause. So as I say, this video is just about, the, you know, the guys giving out the meat and potatoes, the real information that you need to hear are not getting enough credit, right? You know, there's people with hundreds of thousands of subs that haven't shared anything of substance. There's nothing there, man. So, yeah, I'm not criticizing because it is hard work to do it. Whatever content someone has on YouTube is not easy. It's It's not just the videos. It's actually providing replies for people that are expecting them, right? I, I pretty much, because I'm able to, I'm not at work for three months a year, I'm able to reply back to almost every single comment because I want people to know that that I value my little community. I do. So, hey, uh, you can see the Boston LP in the back there. We got a little story about that album. One of my favorite albums of all time. When CD was first released... And the, and the miniature CD Walkman was first released. That was the first CD I bought. And I, f I bought one of the very first portable CD uh, players, right? Which I was able to connect to the uh, Ghetto Blaster. <laughs> Man, I just kind of wish I stayed there, right? But it's been, a, it's been a great learning journey. It's a very complex journey, you know? So just pick your poison online. Pick the people that are going to teach you stuff, right? You got to learn about the equipment on your own. And that's why I, I really suggest getting a really good relationship with a dealer or learning the used market. I will mention this time and time again because there could be new people watching my videos. You can build a hell of a system. I'm telling you, man. You can build a twenty, thirty thousand dollar system for ten grand if you learn the market, right? So yeah, <clears throat> I'm just gonna keep putting out information, stuff relating to hi-fi, how one can build amazing systems, uh, the pitfalls, what to watch out for, you know, not to not to get caught on that wheel that's just awful, horrible place to be, you know. So. All the power to the people that are giving out real ins information, really teaching, teaching the community, right? That's what matters. Take care. Oh, damn. Please like and subscribe, man. I'm working for you here, regardless if you think I'm not. You know, oh, one guy said, well, all you do is sit down in front of a camera. Yeah, well, what about all the 30 years I put in to learn what I know? right? Don't say stuff like that. It's not fair and it's not right. And some of the things I've said have, have not been fair not, and I'm addressing those. So like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Cheers, guys.